So we will start with the uh, plenary session relevance of climate scenarios for finance and private sectors. And we invited Celine uh, to be part of this session as well, because she was originally going to be the chair of this session. Uh, but unfortunately, she is ill, and so this is at home and joining us online. And hopefully that happens. Can, can somebody ma also make sure that Celine is uh, visible? Hello, uh, I can see you. Hello, I'm very sorry not to be with you uh, in Venice. Great. And we have a slight change of plans. And that's why also I would like uh, to go, uh, that slide that was uh, up there uh, to be visible again. Because um, the slight change of plan is that we do an award uh, ceremony first. And so this is not completely coincidental, Celine, that you would that you are invited to be here, uh, because the the winner of the, uh, this year's uh, uh, award is the person that has a sword, and um, I will explain in a second why that is the case. And so we go to the to the next slide, please. The award that we would like to uh, give you uh, is. Uh, this uh, award for extraordinary contributions in the field of the integrated assessment. It's the award that is given every... every year for specific extraordinary contributions in the past two years. And in your case, uh, we, we were really impressed as well by the contribution that you gave to the AR6 uh, report. Among others, um, you let the paragraph where the, in the cost of mitigation and the cost, uh, the benefits of avoided damage were compared in the SPM. And I was in the AR4, and uh, at that point, a similar paragraph was written, and it was completely removed from the report, given the enormous uh, relevance of that particular paragraph. This time, that paragraph remains, and I think that is especially due to the way that you defended it uh, during the approval session, uh, the way that you've written it before, of course, uh, but uh, also the diligence during that uh, session where you uh, with, uh, uh, was ab were able to answer all the questions of the countries and um, quietly uh, with scientific arguments uh, indicated uh, why this was such an important uh, section. You also um, let a paper out of the Navigate uh, project uh, where we discussed new methods to analyze um, large uh, sets of uh, scenario uh, databases. I think that is also a very important work uh, where we start to understand not only how we can compare uh, models directly, but how we can also use uh, these multi-ensemble multi uh, databases and do more stati statistical analysis with them. And I think that is also very important. Now, in general, the fact that you, like, you lead the IMACLIM project and uh, do new research on questions on economics, climate change, uncertainty, equity, financial instability, and structural change, that makes them absolutely convinced that you are uh, a person that should win this award. Uh, in the past year, uh, I also discovered uh, that um, uh, maybe this award is important to uh, convince other institutes. And in this particular case, I would like to refer to Utrecht University. Uh, we would like, uh, this summer, we were asking you, could you uh, be part of a defense committee of a PhD student? And um, we invited you. But in, in the Netherlands, this needs to be full professors. And so we asked Celine, are you a full professor? I was convinced she was by the way that she acted uh, obviously in the, in the IPCA cycle. And Celine answered, I'm working for the Ecole, uh, uh, the school of the bridges and the forests. And in, in this school, we don't have professors. I'm a chief engineer, uh, my job is called. And so I came back to the university saying, it's a chief engineer. And so we had to find out whether it, that is also a professor position. And so we had to define the, what the word professor means. And so obviously that is somebody who works with PhD students, now that was met, but a professor maybe is also a person that wears a gown or something like that. And um, so I came back to Celine and asked her, do you wear a gown? And the answer that Celine uh, gave was no, I, we are, the call is part of the French military. And what we have is a uniform and a sword. And so we had, 
I came back to Utrecht University and asking, uh, is this enough? And uh, they were completely panicking. They had no idea how to handle this. I think if I come back next time and say it's actually the person that won uh, the extraordinary the award for extra, extraordinary contributions in the field of integrated assessment, maybe this time we will be much more convincing. So Celine, well deserved. And um, so we asked you to uh, introduce this section, but maybe you would like to say something as well in uh, accepting the award. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> um, uh First, I'm so sorry not to be uh, with you in very Venice, and, and uh, it's a great surprise and, and a, a great honor. Um, I think the title of the award is not exactly right. I, I think it should be contributions to uh, extraordinary community um, or, or maybe extraordinary communities. Um, and I, I think this award is also uh, for the extraordinary team at CIRED. Um, I have the best colleagues one could ever dream of, and uh, I thank them uh, for that. And, um, and this I am uh, community is, is um, quite extraordinary. So uh, I, I feel very lucky uh, to be part of it. And um, you, you mentioned uh, the work uh, in IPCC, and, and then again, I think this is very much a, a collective work and uh, community work. And uh, I was lucky to work with uh, wonderful people, uh, including you and, and everyone uh, in the, chap the chapter three uh, team that I worked um, on, and also uh, cross chapter and, and cross working groups, uh, including with, with Steve Rose, uh, who is uh, here and, and also uh, accepted to uh, replace me for um, chairing this session. So um, thank you um, again. Um, and um, again, I'm so sorry, I, I cannot be with you. Um, it, it's um, really an honor to be part of this uh, community and, and to receive this award. Um, but um, I was also uh, supposed to uh, introduce the session, um, and um, and so I, I, we prepared this session uh, together with Steve Rose and Max Savoni, and and because we are now in a world that has started to work to to act on on climate change, of course not fast enough, uh, but still. Um, our scenarios are um, more and more used and, and are, I hope, having uh, an impact on the world and, and are being used by more and more diverse users. So for this session, we, we thought it would be interesting to have a, a dialogue with uh, scenario users and in particular uh, users in the world of uh, finance. Um, because it's a world that uh, is both uh, responsible uh, for the investments that are uh, still going uh, to uh, our dependence on, on fossil fuel, but is also uh, responsible for transforming uh, that. So um, the session is really to, um, to have to, to go a, a bit uh, into how our scenario are used and, and um, continue and, and start uh, the dialogue between uh, the community who is constructing the scenario and, and some of the users. So um, I think that Steve also has um, uh, some introductory words and, and then I leave it uh, to uh, the speakers. Uh, thank you very much. Now we're ready for the concluding session, which will combine the poster of award announcements and some closing comments. So I'd like to call Detlev Van Buren uh, up to do the uh, poster awards and Yunggun Kim, who will give us a little preview of next year's meeting. He's also from the Korean uh, Environment Institute, which you just heard one project from. Detlev. Thank you um, uh, for the awards today. Um, maybe we go to the next slide. Detlev. Um, we have uh, decided for two awards this year, both for the in-person poster and one for the online posters. Um, we, for the uh, in-person poster, um, we had a committee looking at the, at the posters. We decided uh, this morning who the winner was. 
uh, in uh, deciding, we actually evaluated uh, cl the clarity of the uh, poster itself. Uh, we uh, took in, into account the research that we liked. Uh, we also really took a look into how the poster presented interacted with the public. And I really thought that in this case, this been really nicely. It actually was also quite interactive with uh, the possibility to comment as well via an app. And so we also um, uh, took other uh, considerations um, and, and that's what in, on this slide. And then the final result is on the next slide. So please reveal who the winner is. So the winner this year is Perla Rivera from Spain. He is in the room, I believe. Mm -hmm. I, I, are, are you still there, Perla? Or somebody uh, of the co-authors uh, in this case, maybe somebody could be willing to come up. We, um, as I indicated, we really enjoyed uh, the poster. Uh, before it was really clear and the research was interest interesting, but it was also really well presented. Um, yeah, it's uh, from the FIM uh, uh, research team, and um, we'll make sure that we send uh, a uh, diploma to indicate uh, how we evaluate this poster. Then we go to the second um, poster session, uh, which is the uh, online poster session. I think that we have to evaluate a little bit how to work with the online poster session because it's still not the best uh, um, attended uh, part of the conference. Uh, but uh, several really nice uh, posters were presented there. Um, and so the online uh, uh, poster judges have evaluated uh, this particular uh, poster and found it among the uh, online posters by far the, the best. Interestingly, the uh, presenter uh, uh, for that particular poster lived almost right behind this building for a long time, as I'm told. So maybe you can review. That is Giacomo Falcetta. Yeah, so um, he is now working at the ASA, so that's why he, he probably is online, but uh, he used to live uh, very nearby uh, uh, on this island even. Um, so Giacomo, are you um, here? You might be online. I am online. Hi, okay. Nice. Yeah, now, congratulations. Um, um, we enjoyed very much your uh, presentation as well. And um, among the online posters, um, the jury found you found it most interesting to look at your poster and, and to talk about it with, with you. So congratulations. Thank you very much, Detlef and everyone. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So this is uh, concludes the poster awards. Great, thanks, Detlef. So now, uh, Jung Gung Kim, who graciously has a the chair of the local organizing committee in Seoul, Korea, for next year's meeting will give you a brief preview of it. Younger. Hello. Uh, with a great pleasure, I inform you, uh, Korea Environment Institute, KEI, and Yonsei University will be hosting the next IAMC in the dynamic city of Seoul in Korea specifically Yonsei University campus. And KI is a unique government research organization uh, in charge of the environmental uh, policy analysis and climate impact assessment. And Yonsei University is one of the top universities uh, currently leading the national project to develop the global IAM model as introduced before in the, one of the Korean colleagues. And I had a great uh, experience here in Venice, and I learned a lot from the so many uh, fantastic sessions, perfectly prepared by CMCC and the contributing organizations and the steps. I thank, sincerely thank uh, the CMCC and the, all the steps, uh, particularly uh, the Massimo Taboni and the Monica Eber and many other steps. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, based on this successful conference, I will do my best with my uh, colleagues to prepare for the next IAMC. And uh, Seoul is the 
part of the you know the uh, K pop, K culture, <laughs> and the uh, K battery, and K mobility, and many others. So I uh, hope you all enjoy the vibrant soul life, and also uh, have a constructive discussion for the innovative ideas for the uh, natural green growth of global economy. I look forward to welcoming all of you uh, to this uh, next uh, 70th IAMC conference in Seoul. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> no, you can. Uh, I'll go and catch our trains, planes, and boats, and uh, eat, or or stay here and have dinner like a few of us are doing. So thanks once again. We'll see you all next year in Seoul. Thank you. <laughs> in the books. <laughs> Right. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> Not before. <laughs>